So the past few days we were lucky enough to get funding to do some black rhino work. So we were dehorning and collaring a few of our black rhino to help with monitoring as well as notching some of the calves and doing some DNA and microchipping as well. So the process is we go up in a helicopter, we first try and find them. It's, it's always also not that easy to try and find them. The chopper goes up and the ground crew, then it's just a bit of a waiting game until they find the rhino. The helicopter has a vet and a wildlife manager who kind of knows the rhinos and can identify the individuals that we want. Once we have located them, I prepare the dart in the helicopter. Dart goes in and then it's a bit of a race to get to the scene. Gets the blindfold on, gets the ear socks in to minimise the, the noise. We make sure before we start to do any work that the animal is stable, which means we check the oxygenation, we check the heart rate, and we check the temperature and the breathing. Once we are happy with those four parameters, we then go on to the collaring and we also then continue with the deorning. Take the measurements we need, work through our checklist, make sure we've got all the data that we want. Guests that are there can then have an opportunity to take their pictures and get a bit hands-on and then Rhino gets woken up. Working with black rhino is a, is a bit more difficult in terms of habitat than white rhino. Typically a white rhino, you can easily herd them into an open area or even directly on the road. Whereas black rhino, when the drugs kick in, they just start running until they kind of hit a stopping point, whether that be a tree or a bush that they fall into. So oftentimes we'll need to hang out or chainsaw away some of the branches and kind of reposition them. Um, if they fall on their side, often we, we turn them sternally. And then especially with darting a cow and a calf, we need to make sure that when the animals wake up that they're together. We'll, we'll move the calf directly next to the cow before we start our work uh, to make sure that they are in close enough proximity to smell each other. This is quite an important operation and we will actually donate our time and most of our drugs to get these black rhino done. You know, black rhino, for me, is ex extremely special animal. It's really a great privilege to be able to work with an animal like the black rhino. At the same time, seeing them dehorned is really eye-opening and to be able to feel the horn and see that beautiful horn get, get chopped off is sometimes not a great feeling, but at the same time, it's, it's very necessary for their safety. Conservation doesn't stop just because people can't get to the reserves and we really need and rely on funding like this to get these operations done. And, I just want to say a massive thank you to the Council of Contributors and Saving the Survivors for donating the money to make this possible and the time of the vet to come out and help us get the work done.